Oh yeah, today I'm going to have a look at Paw Server. It's spelt P A W, as in uh, dog paw, cat paw server. And let's just try and zoom in a bit. We've got it on the Android market here. And um, this is in beta. Now, uh, initially, you might just think it's a web server for your Android phone, but it, it actually lets you control your phone too. It lets it do some uh, quite cool stuff. Uh, it's in beta at the moment, so it's only going to get better. You can work it on. Uh, you can work it using Wi-Fi and in 3G as well I mean if you're at home and you've got your phone and you leave your phone at home say you can use uh, network address translation on your router to map it through to an external IP address too so you can control your phone from wherever you want really now initially uh, if I just sort of get into the app here there's not much to it on the phone side there's just a start button press to start in the settings it just says do you want to start it automatically and you can say yes if you want but I'm not going to you start it up and it says connect to the server on this IP address and this port and that's pretty much it now I'm going to show you I'm going to switch now to um, the computer screen here which uh, is going to display a little bit better if I just flick to this here. Now hopefully you'll be able to see now the screen and as I'm typing 10.60.3.11 port 8080. Now this is an interface into my phone. So I can dial a number, I can look at my call log, I can press find mobile and that will ring my phone Let me just see over here that's going to ring my phone like this if I press it now and then press start over here makes the phone ring over here on the top right here we've got the um, amount of resource the phone is using the uh, Wi-Fi signal the amount of memory and the audio volume you can adjust that somewhere else and the um, battery status so you can also go into SMS down here let's uh, try and make this less bright so you can see it go to whoops SMS to two dock two dock go to SMS you can have a look at your received messages I'm not going to show you that uh, the out messages and you can also send a message to people uh, from this interface so you don't have to be near your computer if you're not too good with typing that's fine you can go to email you can send an email uh, from there you can go to media now you can go to file manager which is quite cool and this will let you browse your phone remotely so again I'm just connected via Wi-Fi here and um, I'm able to browse the phone from this interface I can go to camera images it takes a few short seconds just to kind of display the images here but it shows you the pictures that I've sort of taken recently on here and you can scroll through you can download them to the local PC you can change your wallpaper through the change wallpaper you can upload one if you wish no problem and then just press change you can rescan your it also shows you your current wallpaper as you can see you can rescan the SD card just to get the latest uh, content you can use a voice recorder now this is quite cool for if I took the phone um, to another room completely then I just can leave it in that room and just kind of put it on one side uh, start the PAW power server power server I don't know how you pronounce it and then press record now that's going to record everything that the phone microphone hears you can press stop and then you can play it back you can download it from the phone to your PC uh, you can uh, open it on the device itself and listen to it there but it's a good way of sort of sneaking in and listening to uh, conversations really um, that have been recorded on the phone I think uh, Windows Media Player is not too happy with the 3GP text to speech um, this is good for saying getting the phone to talk to you Hello. have you heard that that's it we can also use a webcam this is really cool 
Now, whatever I point the phone at now, um, it will show it on the screen of uh, the poor server here. So let's just go into um, the resolution settings here. Now, whatever the phone is pointing at now, it's going to display. As you can see, it's not much. Let's just move it around. And you should be able to see, hopefully in a few seconds. There you go. You can adjust the resolution. I've got it on quite a low resolution at the minute. You can turn the flash on if you wish. So you can use it in some sort of, uh, in almost a, a webcam um, security style if you wish. Uh, obviously you'd have to plug it in because the batteries won't last that long. Uh, I can go into fun and we can go into memory and we can sort of use the images on the phone uh, to have a bit of fun and remember what goes with what. Uh, if that's going to work here, there we go. Let's have a look at that. We can use a sliding image puzzle, puzzle here. Capture an image and then create a puzzle from it. That should display shortly. Not showing me at the minute, puzzle. Let's just say this is in sort of beta, um, so if things don't work then don't worry. Android Market is um, turns all the Android Market links into uh, links open directly into the Android Market application on the Android device. You've got to be signed in for this to work. We've also got a toolbar. Um, we can have a look at the system. We can see what processes are running on the phone. Really useful stuff. We can see exactly what's running on my handset. Even though it's not plugged in, even though I'm not uh, looking at it at the moment. It takes a few seconds just to start up. We can see that the wallpaper is running. We've got network location running. We've got um, the server itself running. We can see what apps are installed on the installed apps um, option, which again takes a few seconds to uh, load up all the apps. You can see the 100% process list on the top right here. Let's come up. We can see all the applications showing up there. We can do an APK backup, which backs up all, you know the apps that you've got on your phone. Uh, again, that takes a few seconds just to fire up. We can choose to uh, back them up to the uh, PC here. We can go into volumes. Uh, again, I've maxed out the CPU on here, so we just give it a few seconds just to wake up on this one. Uh, we can adjust the volume of everything in the phone very easily here. We can look at the logs of the phone if you're a real sort of super geek like me and you want to know exactly uh, what's happening inside the phone. Go retrieve log cat and we just give it a few seconds and there we go we can see exactly what's happening in the back end of this, um, the phone. We can then change the settings of the poor server itself. So I can change the server port. If you don't want 8080, you can change that. If you want a proxy, you can change that too. Um, so it's great to be used as a proxy if you wish. You can change the toolbar, settings at the top.